What's up my babies? Today's video is the most, most highly requested video and I posted a photo on my Instagram and a string of videos on my Insta story and a bunch of you went nuts like you guys went wild which I love what should I name this look and a lot of you guys said peach crush peach with freckles but I decided on naming it peach earthquake because the day that I did this makeup was actually the day that there was an earthquake in Jakarta on the day of the earthquake I was drinking a cup of Starbucks and then it started shaking and then I was like oh my god I gotta get out and then I like, oh my god, I gotta save my coffee. So I took my coffee and I ran out and then I was like, what the hell am I doing? And I put the coffee down, hating myself because I got my priorities effed up. And I picked up napkin. I don't know where she was at this point. Picked up napkin and I was like, napkin, I'll save you. Then I ran out downstairs. My maid was screaming. My maid was like, tan tan tan, papa 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 di kamar. Then I ran to the room and I was like, pa, gumpa. So every time I see this look, I always remember that funny moment at home. There's also going to be a giveaway at the very end of the video. So please watch from the start to the end. I'm gonna make sure I shave. So if there's stubble on my armpits, please don't comment on below. I'm gonna laser my armpits soon. This primer is from Clio. So I've been really liking this primer because it does make my skin look matte but in a satin way. Like it doesn't look dry. If you have dry skin, it's important to prime your skin, moisturize it so that you don't have dry patches that will show up through the foundation. And if you have combination oily skin like I do, it's important to put primer on so that the foundation will go on really smoothly and last all day and it won't melt. I'm gonna use the Clio cushion in the color ginger. I'm actually gonna go in with my beauty blender afterwards just to blend it all out. Focus the product on the center of my face because it's kind of too light for my skin tone. This is the Concealdation Stick. It has SPF 50 in it. And what's interesting is that this is like supposed to be a concealer and foundation in one. And I'm actually gonna put it like the outskirts of my face. Go in with a wet beauty blender. I feel like this just gives a more flawless and even coverage and then so bring it down <laughs> to my neck. So this cushion claims to last for 48 hours. I can't confirm or deny that claim because I've never used it for 48 hours. The coverage on this is amazing. The coverage on all Clio's face products is amazing. You guys should go try it out for sure. I love pretty much everything Clio. I think it's my favorite Korean makeup brand and I've tried a lot. Look how amazing the coverage is and it's drying very semi-matte. If you guys are interested in purchasing Clio products, they are actually available in all Sephora Indonesia. Even though my skin looks amazing as an overall, I still do want to cover my eye bags with extra coverage. So I'm gonna go in with my trusty Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I realized that this concealer does dry out over time. I mean, I've had this concealer for like a year. It's kind of very thick now. I'm not applying it too, too much. And I also have problems around my nose. Can you see how red? The problem is when I put too much concealer on the sides of my nose, the dry skin tends to mix with my oil. So I always have to make sure to blend it in super good, super well. Grammar, you guys. And then I also move my nose over <laughs> and then use my sponge. Make sure that everything is in the crevice. You see how it's really red in there? Next, I'm gonna do my brows with my favorite brow product, which is Anastasia Beverly Hills' Dip Brow Pomade. Recently, this dried out a little bit and I found it slowly getting harder and harder to do my brows. And I realized it was because the product itself was becoming very dry and chalky. What I did was I actually put contact lens solution and then I just put one drop in there and then I kind of mixed it a little bit with the very top layer of the pomade to make sure that it absorbed into the product more and then just dab the excess water with tissue. Should I actually show you guys how I do my brows or not? Okay, I think I'm gonna show you guys. Using my favorite brow brush which is from Rain Doll, cannot do my brows 
without this brush, perfectly stiff brush on the other side. So what I do is I first draw a line. But I don't draw a line on the top part because I find that that kind of makes the brow look very unnatural. Kind of fill it in, but also in like a hair stroke sort of way, especially on the front part of the brow. A lot of people ask me if my eyebrow tattoo is gone. I push my hair on the opposite side, you can still see that my brow tattoo is still there. And I also asked for a supernatural sulamalis. That's why it looks like this now. Because I told Timmy T, which is the woman who did my brows, that I want to still put on brow makeup every day. Just I didn't want my brows to be too perfect. I spoolie the rest in. What I want to do next is actually conceal the very bottom of my brow. So I'm actually going to use the Concealdation and I'm going to dip my flat synthetic brush. This is from Rain Doll and this is the perfect size. The reason why I like to use a dry foundation, like a stick, to do this because I feel like it gives more control. Next, I like to draw fake brow hairs with this really thin pencil. This product is a recent new discovery. It's from Maybelline and it has little bits of fiber in it and it's just amazing for my brow hairs. Even though I don't have much, I just put it on like mascara and it just thickens my brow hairs and just it makes it look more feathery. This just really covers up the fakeness of the lines. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of primer. I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. This is one of my favorite palettes palettes because it has everything. I'm gonna go in with this interesting mustard color and we want a transition color that's not warm but as neutral as possible, not cool either. I'm swatching the colors on my thighs by the way. I think I'm gonna go for this one right here. Transition colors just make the look more blended into your skin tone and more professional looking. Put that right in the crease. And I'm actually just going to bring the color all the way in. Then I also bring it down at the end as a V. You see how it just adds a really nice light shadow to my eyes? Kind of get a generous amount in there. I'm going to sweep this mustard color all over my lids. I'm going to use my finger and focus the color on the inside. I realized that that part didn't really get any of the shadow. And then the last eyeshadow I'm going to use, this shade on the very corner. And I'm going to dab it right where my pupil is, right on top of it. So when you look straight, right on top of it, halo eye effect. And blend it out to the yellow. It's not Titan without winged eyeliner, so I just did this eye. I'm gonna go do the other eye off camera, and I'll be right back. So I've done both my eyeliners and curled my lashes, and now I'm gonna put on some mascara. This mascara is just to help me blend my real lashes in with my false lashes. Don't really have a lot of bottom lashes to work with. I'm just gonna go ahead and line the outer corner of my bottom lashes. This is the pencil liner I'm using. It's the Urban Decay 24-7 in Demolition. And I'm gonna use any eye brush to kind of blend out that bottom bright white eyeshadow and put it in the inner corner. This is gonna go a long way for your selfie, you guys. Trust. Final step for my eyes is to put on falsies. I'm using my current favorite from Lavi Lash. It's called Spotlight and it's their collaboration with Luna Maya. Just look how beautiful it looks. It just looks it just looks very wispy, kind of interlaced, so it looks very natural. And I'll be right back. Ta-da! Done with my lashes. Isn't it pretty? We have come to the most important part of this video, which is actually the face makeup. And I'm gonna put this, basically putting it where I'm going to be contouring it really. So I'm first gonna put on bronzer, and bronzer is usually a little bit more warm and sparkly than contour. So I'm using a pretty big angled brush here, I'm just warming up the face. That's good enough because I'm gonna go in with contour. Now contour is usually a more neutral color that mimics 
a shadow on your face and this is a really neutral color really like it it's a pony effect I'm using the same brush and just the reason I'm using the same brush is actually only because I forgot to bring my contour brush. You can use a different brush if you really want to focus the contour down. Yeah, on my double chin as well. Okay, and then just bring it down to your neck as well. Favorite trick is just, is just to use your powder brush that you used previously. Wherever you think you did too much, you just blend out the edges. As you can see my nose right now just blends into my face. It kind of looks like I kind of have no nose. So you need 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 to contour so I'm using this brush which a lot of people have asked me where it's from it's from Luxie brushes using the flat smaller part carving out how I want my new nose to look but then you use the fluffier side and then you blend it out Also bring it all the way up here as you can see and again if you want to blend it out just use your powder brush this is a 3 CE face blush in shy shy and it's beautiful I love it so much it's a perfect cotton candy pink putting it in this direction and then some here so it really frustrates me that in real life when I look in the mirror my blush is quite prominent but you can barely even see on the camera so I'm just gonna go ham with this alright? I feel sorry for my friends who I'm gonna meet right after this because they're gonna be like whoa blush monster let me see how I'm just bringing it a little bit in here right it's so pretty oh my god I look I, I oh I'm dead it's so good I feel so like <laughs> Kawaii right now. So this one is a super natural highlight. It just looks like your real highlight on your face. How it just looks like my face just has that highlight, a natural glow inside my skin. We're also gonna do faux freckles. So funny, you know that day I posted the selfie on my faux freckles? My guy friend, one of my best friends, were was so confused. He asked his sister, which is also one of my best friends, like, bro. Am I the Tanada freckles? All this time I didn't know that they had freckles. His sister was like, no, it's makeup. And then like, what do you mean makeup? They're freckles, right? What do you mean? You just couldn't understand the concept of why girls would draw freckles on their face since he has freckles. Now to the fun part, which is the freckles. I used three products. And I'm gonna tell you why in a second. I bought this specifically to draw freckles. So I was in Korea and I saw this color and I figured that it would be really good to draw freckles with so you can see the color it's kind of auburn kind of warm so because it is very warm i mixed it with two other pencils you know how real freckles some of them are darker and some of them are really light first up what you want to do is make sure that end of the pencil is not dry Kind of a very slow process and patience is the virtue and make sure that it's sporadic some of the dots has to be larger than others you kind of just have to embrace your inner Weasleys and I bring it all the way up here as well just a little bit I have two Girlactic brow pencils so you want to get a piece of tissue and just rub your pencil on it to kind of activate the end of the pencil and then you want to continue on with your freckles then if there are some freckles that I don't like, like I don't like that freckle right there because it's too circle, I just blend it out. I'm gonna use the brow pencil in deep and I'm gonna make just little tiny freckles on the very center of my nose. Once again, if there are any freckles that you truly don't like, like I made a mistake with that one, rub it off with a cotton bud. I'm gonna use my powder brush, dab just a little bit of powder 
slowly dab the powder on top of your freckles. This is gonna make your freckles look like it's underneath your skin. Finally, we've come to the lips. This is also a very important part of the look because it's a really unique peachy nude look. A lot of people ask me what lipstick I used and it was these two. So it comes in a little tube like this and you have to kind of press out the product. Anjir! Did you guys see that? I don't think you did. Look at that. This. I'm just gonna use whatever's on my finger alone. With my top lip, because my top lip is kind of really dark, I use whatever product or pigment I have left on my finger and just a tiny bit on my top lip. Here's the interesting part. I use this lip gloss and this lip gloss, it's super nude and I thought that I couldn't use this lip gloss ever. I decided to try and use it for an ombre effect. Turned out incredibly. So what I do is I just put on a little bit on the ends, outsides of my mouth and I kind of just use my finger again to blend everything in. So that's really pretty, but it looks very nude right now, doesn't it? So I go with another layer again and I use <laughs> another layer of orange, put it on the center again and kind of just repeat the process. You just repeat the process until you get a lip color that you like. I've never seen anyone do an ombre peach nude lip. I always see people do Korean ombres with like red tint and like pink lipstick. This is so wash I'm see it that's my Boston accent by the way ta-da so this is the finished look doesn't it look like deja vu right now because I'm wearing the exact same top and the exact same hair Cleo and I actually wanted to give away three of these cushions in shade three four and five so just comment down below what shade you think would match you why you want the cushion and follow Cleo's Instagram my Instagram subscribe the huge and then also comment down your Instagram username so that I can announce the winner in March that is why you need to follow me on Instagram so that you can keep track whether you want a cushion of your own or not. But don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell right next to it so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video because my videos don't always show up on the whole page anymore so if you guys don't want to miss a video from me, I upload every week. Have a happy new year and don't forget to share this video with your friends. Bye! Next, I like to draw fake brow hair. Hairs. Hairs. Hard to let you Wiping off all that disgusting pencil swatches. This is gross. This is gross. <laughs> <laughs>